All right, what's going on guys? Edward here back with another video. I'm here right now trying to record a video uh, while babysitting, so I apologize if you hear a little background noise as my daughter playing around in the actual room right now. So <clears throat> right here guys, I just want to uh, break down a trade I took today with my team. And this was a trade on NASDAQ. It was on a five minute time frame after the news. We had news at 8.30 today. So this was this is my group, this is my VIP group. So I sent uh, this message right here, right after the news were coming out, this first five minute candle, okay? It was starting to form. I was expecting a pullback. Of course, a closure above this, this high who was forming an auto block right here. For some reason it changed the color, but this was actually the auto block. The opening price of this one so expecting already that move right there you see I, I arranged it already in that one and I was expecting the price to actually push up so that's how it ended up taking that that TP from there now of course let me show you the entire breakdown top-down analysis what led me to this decision which is why you are watching this video in the main uh, is the main reason why you're here guys. So anyways, let's break it down. This is NASDAQ on the daily time frame, as you can see right here. We have a recent fair value gap right here in this area that it just got topped, right? It barely got topped. So at this sort of relative equal low, tap into this daily fair value gap, and we're starting to push up. When we go lower time frame now, on a four hour time frame, I had marked up this this high right here. This zone is my change in the state of delivery in higher time frame, in a four hour time frame. Now, of course, I'm gonna mark up here a few things which is very important. This is the, to me, this is the initial accumulation right here. Hold on a second. That's initial accumulation. I'm just trying to mark up here to show you the market maker model, basically. Of course, this is gonna make sense in a little bit. So we have this accumulation right here. All right, look at this. So price recently in this first push right here, this, this first move after taking this liquidity, right here and we in this push right here let's mark it up as well i just want to much more marked up everything because it's very important to see so we have this big impulse and then it started to correct but you see that this impulse did not sweep this high so it left a double top right here and you guys should know that double tops are like magnets okay they're like magnets for the price. It's liquidity right here. There's a lot of people selling, right? Equal, equal highs, basically, is the same as a resistance, right? So retail traders are trying to sell right here, right? And they place the stop loss above the zone. So as soon as you know, this whole zone is filled with money, with the stop losses from retail traders, right? All kinds of traders right there. So um, when price is pulling back, you see that it taps a fair value gap on the way up. So if you use the fit from the lowest point of this swing to the high, you go OTE, you can see that price pulled back to, back to equilibrium, which is the 50%. We are at discount. We did top discount and we did top the fair value gap, right, in four hour time frame. And from here, what it did, you see that it also swept. Just make sure to make that little uh, liquidity sweep. Let me remove this match now. So after removing that, what do we have? So this this is what happened uh, yesterday on Wednesday. I did not trade yesterday. I was feeling pretty bad. Um, I was actually sick, I was having a stomach ache and throwing up and throwing up, and uh, it was pretty bad. So. Today I was actually trading, but yesterday I did not trade. So right here, I'm gonna mark up my buy side liquidity. So 
this, we see this, let me hide, keep this indicated for a moment. So all overnight, the price took this liquidity right here, it swept this low, right? This was actually last night, it was during Asian session, we had a sweep, and then from there, price actually started to climb up, right? So we're starting to go pretty bullish. By the time New York session opened, which was right here, this is the opening, New York session, right there, right? So London was pushing up and I marked up tonight. I was marking up, okay, we have some points of liquidity, right? The price could go. We are even above midnight open. So it means that we should be looking for sales, but guess what? I do not want to look for sales based on what I was seeing in higher time frame. What the price did right here, I didn't see a reason why the price would have to go back down. I didn't see a reason. I mean, we do have some lows right here, but these are pretty insignificant. I think the move already happened. The big thing already happened. And we're probably going to uh, explode or expand towards this double recent double top right here from the day before, right? And also this recent equal highs as well. And so this is why my bias for the day was actually bullish. So when you go here, you get back down on the five minute time frame, which is where I was actually monitoring. Right, so New York session opens, and then right here, this is the news, right? News comes out, sweeps that, and I'm telling my team, guys, I want to um, actually look for bias. I'm not interested in sales, my bias is bullish, so I just need to see some sell side liquidity being taken. It could even be from this low, from this low, or from this low, whatever. It does. I want to wait for the news to come out and I want to see that manipulation so I can try to enter after the news. So here we go. You know, after the news comes out, we do have a shift in the structure right here. It looks a little different in this actual book over here, big cap, in comparison to this one. Yeah, get where the auto block is. But, anyways, another thing that I forgot to mention that I was seeing is on the one hour. And this one hour, since Asian session when price was pushing up it was building nice imbalances and it was respecting these bullish imbalances that we have right so this is a daily this is I'm sorry this is a one one hour fair value gap right this is probably my higher time frame to be a rate I can also use my fit right here just to show you from the low to the high I'm on the five minute time frame right now right don't forget that so we are at discount price actually with the news it tapped the ote right this golden zone basically it did tap and go so when the price pushes up like that and starts sort of dropping I, i'm entering already i'm making my positions in here i was expecting price to pull back and tap this ob right even we had a fair value gap formation right there but by by the time price was pushing i was already making my entry right here Price pulled back just barely a little bit, you know, it did not go all the way down here or tapping this fairly gap. So I, I, I felt like I needed to jump in. Otherwise, this may be gone. And it was actually just like that. As I was thinking, price was very aggressive today. So I was making my position aggressively, entry somewhere around this area, stop below the swing and targeting, namely, of course, this double top and this double top also right here. So the rest is history. When the price was pushing up, this was all catch live. It was all caught live on the Zoom as well. If you're interested, by the way, just go ahead and check my website, teamprofitsfx.com. You can see my programs right here. Go ahead and visit it. I did put uh, send. On my Instagram, so if you want to follow me there, just go ahead and check it out. But that was the move, and after that, I told my team that I wanted to target. Actually, I closed eighty percent right there, and I, I'm interested in targeting this size now. So I went on that swing. I closed eighty percent, but then price actually pulled back. 
to actually pull back and got me out on break even, right? On that remaining 20% I was holding. So after that, I was still convinced, I'm still kind of convinced that price is going to push up. So I ended up making another position. This is more kind of an aggressive position, but I hopped in because I still believe that we are strongly bullish and we just swept this, this uh, first liquidity, this first accumulation right here, or the most recent accumulation, it's not the first one, it's the most recent accumulation we just took it. I don't think we're gonna reverse to come back down. We have a very nice excuse to read or, or why the price will push. We already tapped into the daily. We're displacing, we do have a change in state of delivery on a four hour time frame. price pulled back to a fair valley gap. It displays up. We just took this size, but I, I just think that this price is just going to continue up. It's just not going to slow down. It did slow down a little bit. It had we had a lot of reasons why I'd probably be selling from here. Yes, but I was not interested. We also had, of course, the way I'm the reason why I'm saying that we had a lot of reasons why to sell. We are tapping that fair value gap on a four hour, and even on the daily time frame, we also have a daily fair value gap right here. So we are tapping that daily. So why not sell? I mean, you see? But the reason is that we're so strongly bullish that I think, you know, after this daily bounce, I think we're gonna break through this daily bearish fair value gap. Uh, hopefully it will. Let's see what's gonna happen. But as I mentioned, I do have that swing trade open right now. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to see part two of this continuation and I'll show you basically uh, how it ended, you know, just make sure to follow up there. And if you're new, please subscribe, give it a big thumbs up. And again, just make sure to follow me on my Instagram, check my website in profitsfx.com. If you're interested in, in, in learning what I'm doing right now, what I'm teaching, I don't sell, I do not sell signals. So if you're trying to look for signals, please don't look to join. I teach and I do share anyways. I do go live. I trade live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with my team directly on Zoom, New York session, morning session mainly. Okay, so hope it makes sense. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.